Hi, I'm Rich from Traffic Inc. TV and welcome to my wood yard. As you can see by the beautiful colors behind me, it's fall time and of course the fall time we're always thinking about wood, right? I actually think about it a lot earlier. I, most of my wood that, that, that's sitting over here is, was split back in January and February of earlier in the year here. Just so that it cures and it's good for, for this winter. What I'm standing in front of here though is a new heavy duty processor from Range Road Enterprises and you can see here's my EcoPro 300 behind me and my and my 103 deck and everything else that I use for processing wood. I briefly removed that EcoPro 300 and put this in place and it's all meant to integrate so so the whole idea was to put it in there and give it a test. Now this is a prototype not only does it not have paint on it we're still in the design stages uh, to a certain extent there is a big conveyor belt that's going to go out behind it and the, and the conveyor belt is actually going to be a chain link uh, system rather than belting like we have on the on the EcoPro 300 and it will also swivel so you'll be able to build those build a, a big arc of, of wood stacked out behind there uh, the whole idea behind this one was it was uh, North American made okay so you'll, you'll be able to buy this model be, having been, been made in North America uh, the second thing was for size, okay, for bigger wood. Um, the EcoPro 300 will do up to 16 inch butt, uh, diameter butt, and if you're careful and, and, it's, and it's straight and all that, you can get 18 inch in there. I do, I do all the time. This is designed to go up to a 24 inch butt, okay? So it is designed for heavy. It's got a big trough system, big, really heavy duty uh, infeed system. Very impressive. Very impressive. It's also, in order to make it compact, it's got an offset uh, splitting chamber over here. When the wood drops off into the cutoff bin, it rolls over and it's offset rather than everything being all in line like it is on, on the uh, EcoPro 300. It, all, it allows for more than one uh, function to take place at a time. You can be splitting while moving logs forward and cutting at the same time and it makes it, it makes for a shorter unit. One of the first things that I have to talk about is this being a prototype. It's not set up, of course, the way that the uh, factory run is going to be. And that means we don't have the motor that we're supposed to have. Uh, this is going to have a 35 or 36 horse motor, depending on the, on the manufacturer. This only has a 23. So, yeah, that was a lot of work for a 23 horse motor. Like, I was impressed at how well it did. Even though we didn't have near the motor that we were supposed to have, I stuck with the eight-way splitter, the big, heavy, super heavy-duty eight-way splitter to split all of this green birch. Now, birch is one of those woods that has a very heavy uh, bark on it, and as long as that bark, bark is on and the birch is unsplit, it will never cure. So this stuff had been down for a year, and even so, when I was running it through this splitter, there's moisture just oozing and running everywhere sap coming out of out of that uh, wood they uh, I only had uh, one log uh, one big butt and it could have been because of uh, of the uh, smaller motor or whatever but only once did I ever stall it on, on a split that was pretty impressive we have four control levers here the first one controls the infeed on the deck the second one controls the infeed here, back and forth, very simple. This control is a multifunction control, so it controls our log clamp. Once our log clamp develops 70 pounds of pressure down, then our chain blade starts to move, okay? But it's got to be at 70, 70 PSI. So the last uh, quarter of, uh, of the stroke here is, is controlling your chain and, and up. Our fourth uh, one over here is for controlling our splitter up and down. So it's hydraulic controlled. You can go up or down. You can fit it to whatever log you want. And then we have two controls here that can control a ram. They're all independent. Uh, by, by it being independent, it allows you to have two functions going on at once. You know, your, your 
using hydraulics for your for the ram and for for splitting but at the same time you can be doing another infeed and you can start cutting you know it, it makes uh speeds up the process a lot which is really important especially when you're dealing with this big wood like this the new infeed especially with the trough system is phenomenal it moves the heaviest logs effortlessly the trough means that it, they can't roll out on you in any direction uh, I, I really really think very highly of that the log clamp worked very well it uh, is adjustable for for two different heights or two diff, uh, different diameters so for the very largest up to 24 inch you'll you'll set it on the on the top pull these pins and and take and uh, adjust it down and and then you can go down into that I, I think probably 10 inch butt something like that the adjustable log stop you know that that uh, measures the length of your of your block cut off and that is very robust <laughs> and and with with this uh whole system of, of the infeed that and it slams a i don't know probably 1200 pound log into it you know like it it, it took it all it took it all it was it was amazing and, and it worked very well so that, that, that that's a, a really good improvement for something that's designed to, to handle heavy wood right we didn't have the actual valves for the hydraulics that we wanted for this at the time of testing and you can probably see that there's some down there and they're just held in place with uh, with the plastic tie and uh, so we didn't quite have the feathering capability but I, I'm sure that the the combination of a bigger motor so that we've got more flow and the proper valves that's that's going to uh, going to change all that so what problems or issues did I have just by the very geometry of, of the hydraulically controlled saw blade, when it came back up, once it got from this point here, it would whip really hard and then it would make contact with the guard. So we're gonna have to change that a little bit. Uh, it didn't affect the function of anything, just bothered me that, my, that the teeth would hit the metal guard. We're gonna need to develop more room in front of the, the splitting wedge. What happens is, is as everything's splitting there, well, of course, it's being forced apart. Well, with the, the deck on, the, uh, on the, the splitting chamber being so close, now it starts to push and wedge, and it wet pushes that wedge up. And so we need more room around there so that it, there's no pressure being built, and, and it'll make splitting that much easier for the machine as well. And it'll give clearance for things that when you've got a heavy bark like, like birch bark, it'll give it lots of clearance to push all that stuff out and, and be free. Comes with electric start, huge oil tank. It's well set up, very compact unit. It has the safeties that you need and all the places that you need them and the cutouts. Uh, it is very towable. We actually have towed this unit down the road at, at 110 kilometers an hour or 70 miles an hour. And it tracks like a, just like a demon. It weighs a lot, <laughs> so it should track. I'm, I'm not guessing it's gonna be too flighty. <laughs> all in all, uh, for a pure prototype that you know is uh, you know doesn't isn't painted isn't complete it doesn't even have the right motor or the valves and all that no it's this performed really really well I'm I'm excited to, to, to try it when it when we have the final configuration it is really going to eat wood I mean I ended up I ended up doing a bunch I, I had uh, I don't know there's probably it's probably a good three or four cords that, that were done there and they were, they were all big logs like there was there was nothing nothing small so I'm, I'm impressed with it and uh, I look forward to the to the finished unit to be sitting on the floor